Hello everybody, by the end of this video, I'm going to have explained a few things. First and foremost, by the end of the video, you will understand how to, for free, get a completely maxed helmet of every single region O, meaning Hydra, okay, Sakaar, you're gonna be able to get it from New Stark, Midgardia, and Xander. You can get a fully six star, fully max nano out for free with the helmet without having to do literally any pose at all. You only need the particles. You can also get five star cores for free. And all we have to do to get these is level our alts. I'm gonna break down the process and explain it in its entirety now. If this is something that might help you, consider liking the video, subscribing to this channel for more Marvel content, and let's get going with your information. Ladies and gentlemen, today what I want to do is talk to you guys, the audience, and give you guys an idea of why you need to be leveling alts. I've been seeing a lot of conversation where people are saying I'm squad rank like 50, 60, 70, 80, and I have one hero, I don't know how to get stronger. It seems like a very common question that I have been getting is I'm free to play, I'm at X power, X level, how do I get stronger? And I think the problem is the game doesn't really explain this to you in a great way, but the power of alts is how in fact you get stronger. Now I'm not just talking about the basics, okay? Where yes, when you level an alt, you'll get squad rank experience and things like that, okay? Uh, there's actually other bits that are important about leveling alts. Like if we go into my Star-Lord here, who's level 82 for instance, okay? Now, whenever you hit level 100 on a new alt, this is the most important thing about leveling alts. And the biggest reason I personally would recommend leveling alts myself is when you hit level 100, you get additional side missions. And these additional side missions can be given to you from Hank Pin, and each one of these missions will give you a five-star core. They're gonna ask you to complete the three raids, and each one of those raids gives you a five-star core. That means you can get yourself a ton of additional five-star cores, but it doesn't end there. On top of hitting level 100 on the new heroes, when you look, you're gonna get yourself additional rewards here, okay? Now, some of the rewards are only gonna be uh, in the squad training event potentials. Like you can look, event potentials, not really a big deal. You know, these aren't really a huge deal. It'll help you with your individual hero. However, when you look at the other ones, okay? Reaching the higher squad ranks, which you do get squad rank experience by leveling your alts, you get things like gems, okay? Take a look, huge gems, and that's squad rank 200, check this out. Another five-star core and another five-star Omega card, etc. That is the main one from the squad rank. However, leveling your alts does other things as well. If you look down here, look at this, squad power 200 in bionics, you get a costume draw another, or excuse me, an Omega card draw, 200 in armor design, another Omega card draw, here, another Omega card draw. These are the ones I've yet to get, but before that, look at this. There's plenty more draws at the easier level. So if we go all the way back from the very beginning, you start at squad rank 20, and as you're leveling up, you're getting more and more and more rewards. And these rewards are actually pretty good, okay? And then you can see here, you get draw rank rewards. Some of these rewards suck. They're just, you know, things like, uh, the enhancers, et cetera, that kind of suck. But some of these are really good, okay? And the total levels and squad power you'll get from both leveling your alts as well as being able to continually play your blitzes, your raids, et cetera, every day. Okay, so we know there's squad training reasons. We know that on top of it, there is the side quest missions when you hit level 100. But it doesn't end there. Let's get into some of the dev notes and talk about why in the future you're going to want to have leveled your alts. Okay, during the dev note 2, which was sort of the apology dev note for the issues we've had recently, if we scroll down through the dev note and we look and we look here, expansion of costumes and other Omega card utilities. Having to spend a lot of effort and currency in costumes and Omega cards just to repeat the process every time you add a new hero is not the direction the dev team wants either. Thus, we're thinking of adding a feature to convert costumes and Omega cards. We plan to allow players to convert the costumes or Omega cards of your main hero into the the costumes or Omega cards of other features. That is one reason. So as you're acquiring other costumes from heroes, you might say, okay, well, you only get 
free regional gear for the helmets, etc. Okay, you're right, but let's look into the nanofusions, okay? As of now, nanofuse costumes options cannot be changed. Many of our agents spoke out on this are planning to improve the system to allow changing of nanofuse costumes. We would like to apologize for not adding this feature in 929 update due to the lack of time. So before you would effectively have to get a perfect piece of gear, then nanofusion it. They're going to be changing this going in the future. How do these two go together? Well, if we're going to be able to take costumes, okay, and move costumes from alts and convert them to your main hero, and we're also going to be able to start nanofusioning things before we get the perfect one, that means you can now take once this gets implemented and why you're going to want to prepare, you can take all the helmets you got from completing the levels on your alt, convert them over to the hero you want, let's say Storm Spider-Man for me, and then use them to nanofusion the set you actually care about. For this reason, there's eight heroes. If you have one major hero you care about, you can get, and I'm going to say this in full screen here, you can get yourself seven nanofusions for free on all of the regional sets on your main hero once they implement this change. Now, they already kind of let the cat out of the bag and they said we are reviewing and considering it, okay? And their mini agents spoke about it. We apologize for now adding this on our recent 929 update. I mean, they went out of their way to sort of say that this update is something they are heavily considering, okay? Especially here, we plan to allow players to convert the costumes and mega cards of your main hero into the costumes or mega cards of other heroes. You see, we plan to allow the converting. They're saying that they're going to add it and they're apologizing for not having added it already. So we know for a fact, it is coming. They've said that. Unless they lied in this dev note and they're changing what they said, it is for a fact coming. And because of that, you can get seven, seven nanofusion bonus outfit pieces on every regional outfit. How do we do this? You level all of your alts. By leveling your alts, you're going to get all the bonuses we already talked about between the cores and the squad training, but you're also going to get helmets from defeating each of the place. Let's say Spider-Man as an example with his Sakaar outfit, okay? So now, what I really want is Spider-Man with Sakaar, all right? Well, I have Sakaar outfits in the helmet on every hero that I've beat the Sakaar region in, okay? I have those helmets available to me. So I'll give you an example. I'm gonna log on a hero. What that's going to allow me to do is log on somebody, let's say Iron Man, for example, grab his Sakaar helmet, which I already have because I completed it, and it's not like I need to continue working on these heroes. We can effectively throw them away at level 100 after we get the cores that we wanted. Now look at this. I can go into my inventory here, I can go here, I can grab the Hydra, the Sakaar, which is the one we want in particular, and with what they promised is coming to the game, I can convert this Sakaar head to a Spider-Man Sakaar head and then use that to nanofusion my main's hero. And because there's seven other heroes other than Spider-Man, I can do this same Sakaar head seven times and I can get a fully nanofusion, a fully nanofusioned helmet for free in every single region. Hopefully I explained the upcoming process enough in detail you understand what I'm saying and why you want to get the level 100s. Plus, I hope they don't nerf the side missions for the level 100s or move them to level 110 or something like that, okay? They have nerfed side missions before. I would recommend getting every hero to level 100. That's part of what I'm gonna be doing here. I'm gonna be live now. I have to work on my Marvel heroes, getting them all the level 100. I got three left and they're pretty close. So I'm just gonna wrap it up. Come join me now at twitch.tv slash Darth Microtransaction. And if I helped you in this video, consider liking the video, subscribing, and leaving a comment to let me know I helped you as those three things that you can do for free will help me out as well. Thank you so much for watching the video as that helped me out and I'll see you on the next one.